This meteorite, Tissint, is arguably the most important meteorite fall of the last 100 years and we are really lucky to have it, the largest piece of it, in the museum collection. It is going to offer us so many different things to study and find out so many different things. It really does offer us a unique insight into the history of the Red Planet. This meteorite actually was blasted off the surface of Mars a few million years ago through um, a large impact by a comet or asteroid. This piece that I'm holding weighs 1.1 kilograms, so about the same as, the, as a bag of sugar, and it's actually the largest piece of this meteorite that is known, so we're very, very lucky to have it in our collection. We know that this meteorite is from Mars because it has the fingerprints of Mars all over it. You can see these dark veins of material. Well, within those veins are little tiny bubbles of gas, and when we measure that gas, it has the same composition, the same makeup as Mars's atmosphere. We will be using lots of different techniques to study this meteorite, but the first thing that we will be doing is we will be doing CT scanning of it. This is a very important technique for us because it means that we can see what's inside without having to cut up and destroy the meteorite. So it's a very valuable non-destructive analytical technique. Well here we actually are seeing um, some data collected earlier today um, using our CT scanner here in the laboratories at the museum and this is an image which is produced by bombarding the specimen with x-rays. It's quite quick to collect the data but it can take hours, days or even weeks to actually process and interpret the data. And it's one of the things that's quite exciting about this uh, technique is you never know, until you start processing and interpreting that data, you never know exactly what you're going to find. Martian meteorites are absolutely critical to our study of the planet Mars. They're the only samples of Mars that we have to study in sophisticated laboratories on Earth, like the ones we actually have here at the museum. So whilst there have been a lot of missions that have gone to Mars and analyses have been made of the surface of Mars, we can study in much greater detail and more accurately and more precisely the composition of the red planet by using meteorites like this. And to have such a large piece means that we have more material to be able to study here at the museum.